Good evening. I think every one of you has been at the doctor's queue waiting, and you can imagine that the doctor has maybe one or two minutes between one visit to the next one. And this issue is something that we want to resolve for the doctor. Okay. So what, what we have built is a practice management system, which is a classical uh, business application, but our solution is just a calendar. I th the resolution is not, not that good, so you can't see really the grid here. Um, yeah, it's a little bit wide, the screen, um, but you can imagine that there is a, it's a regular calendar and the doctor only works with this calendar. So he has his upcoming appointments here on the left-hand side and he sees that um, I can here change the, the doctor and see the upcoming appointments. It's, I click on one appointment and I see not only the upcoming, the today's appointment with that person, but I see the entire history. So instead of searching within my patient um, electronical medical uh, records, I just open up the current event. And I just scroll down to see all the entries that, that I, as a doctor, did in the past. So I find here in that demo, this was the, the last uh, appointment with that patient one day, one day ago. I see all my notes that I took. I can click on the files that I added. I can read what I put in the last time. And of course, obviously, I can make my, uh, my notes from today. whatever, I can add medicines and files and test notes as well. And once this is done, it's saved as the next, next uh, electronic medical records. So instead of searching around for uh, the history of that patient, I have everything in one place, in one go. This is one USP of our application, we feel but we have another one. So a lot of doctors told us um, what they do today if they want to know a second opinion, let's say from a friend, from a doctor's friend, if they have a case which is maybe a little bit difficult. So what they do now is they make copies of x-rays, copies of CDs, DVDs and stuff. They burn it and they send it along by post. And they have to wait, let's say if the the doctor is in India and, and the colleague, the friend, is in the United States, it will take some time. With our system, they can say second opinion, they can fill out the name, email and phone from that colleague and this colleague will get an email with a link and a PIN code by SMS. So it's a two-way communication, so it's safe. This doctor can open that patient file. He won't see the personal details of that patient, but he will see the entire history as well. And not only this, he can directly put in his notes here as a reply say OK, and it's shared in the system. So it's instant second opinion or instant in that sense, as soon as the, the colleague, the friend, has time to look at the patient history and to put in his command. So what we see then here is a 
the, the commands of the various doctors uh, in the system so everyone knows who, which doc doctor has put in which kind of information. What we're also going to track is, if I change to this doctor, that we have some pending appointments. Pending appointments is, uh, for example, this one. That was an appointment from yesterday, but I didn't put in the, the commands. So I have to do that. So it takes track of my to-do list as well. So what we have here is a, is a, um, um, a practice management system, which in the end is very powerful, but for the, for the end user, for the doctor, is only a calendar. So this is what we call a calendar-centric design approach. Now, I would like to hear from you what you feel about A, uh, the, the user interface, and B, the going to market. How do we attract, this is a system not for hospitals, of course, but for single doctors or for small practices with two, three, five doctors. How would you see that we're going to attract them and to find them as customers. Thank you. Fantastic, thank you so much for that. Big round of applause, please. <clears throat> I'm sure we can all had experience of when this product will come in useful, definitely. First question over here, second row. Hello, a uh, couple of uh, feedbacks on the user interface. Um, M and F, I assume, stands for male and female. Just write it out. I mean, it's no point saving space. Same goes for the age. Write 73 years old or age 73. Brackets. I mean, brackets doesn't mean anything. Same with your dates. Whenever you write a date, put a day name in there, so Friday or Thursday. When it comes to scheduling, everybody thinks in Fridays or in weekdays. If you see a number, you have to convert it in your head. It just makes it so much easier. Thank you for that. And you uh, have big space. Um, here we have some space, but of obviously this is a, a web application, so it's built in a, resp a responsive way, so it also has to fit on, on a mobile screen. This application is built mainly for the Indian market, so uh, you will find doctors there mainly having a, a small smartphone and not a computer. So yeah, that's why but if it's responsible, it should wrap nicely. Uh, another thing, when you say minus one and plus one, I assume it's tomorrow and yesterday? Yes. Again, it would be much easier if you just write tomorrow and yesterday. Minus one and plus one is yeah, it's it, just another mm, bit of friction. You don't need any user okay. things. So min minus one and plus one is obviously is, is the demo. Um, usually the patient comes once a week or once a month. So what do you do then? So One month ago. Write it like you say. Don't be picky. Just in the British system, when I see my GP notes, it's got the date I attended. They do the maths themselves. So 17th of 4th, 2000. So it's specific dates. Anyway, I, I have some questions. Yes. Um, my question is that this is for the Indian healthcare market, but in India, as we know, it's mostly smartphones. They have very little broadband and stuff. This is a big web application. And also, you, a lot of your stuff was about MRIs and imaging and scanning and really, really high data elements going off and around. But really, I, if this was for India, it should be a mobile phone app. It should be something that they can use on their mobile and that other people can put in and not, right? Right, right. Okay. I was also wondering, why, why did you choose India? Because you're, you're a Swiss chap, right? So you've got the EU, you've got Russia, you've got Africa. Why, why India? Is there why, a why India? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's very simple. My, my business partner is from India. So. Okay, so it's not like a compliance issue. It's not that no. there's different things about storing data in the cloud. Well, it, it's not a compliance issue, but in Switzerland, the, the health market is very insurance driven. So where else? In, uh, that's different in India. It's not not like dictated from from the insurance companies how to do that the business. 
just a suggestion. I mean, at the same time, uh, what about thinking of the patient? Because the patient is wasting a lot of time waiting for the doctor. What about if sharing the access such as the patient can add notes on their view before going to the appointment, for example? This is, this is in, my, in our minds. This is the, the minimal viable product where we start. Um, the doctor can, can easily share the notes that he takes uh, and send it along as an email to the patient. But of course, um, the next versions or, or ideas are there to connect the, the patient to that system as well. Hi there. Um, unfortunately, my father's a doctor and my mother's a psychotherapist, um, which is probably one of the reasons why I'm here now. Um, why do you limit yourself to doctors? Um, because from my experience, their work can be fairly similar. I wouldn't say we, we would limit to doctors. Okay. Uh, um, it's just patient doc the name, but, but obviously it can be used uh, for a, from a wide uh, audience as well. But don't you think that that name will automatically maybe limit yourself in a sense that they wouldn't be able to identify with it? Well, what we, what we think of is uh, that we want to attract first in a, in okay. a certain niche and that the name would help to attract that niche. Okay, and cool. later on we could would have a, maybe another product which has techno technologically the same core, for example. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Another question back here. Um, one question, one input. Um, one question, did you test drive it with any doctors under 45? Because I know from our projects, doctors are, I think, the most untechnical people in the world sometimes, and they are like prone to every change, every technical new aspect in their work, their daily work. Yeah, absolutely. That uh, we we experience the same. That's why we chose this this uh, method, saying that uh, people know two tools since thousands of years almost. It's a notebook and a calendar. So that's why we put an entire business application under the hood of a calendar, thinking that doctors like this, they know how to work with a calendar on their smartphone or on paper, but it's not that different here in that system. Uh, they don't have to search around in, in, in uh, uh, menus and, and, and search for the, the history of a patient. They just open up the current appointment with the patient and have everything there on one screen. They just scroll down. Yeah, I would definitely also um, think of the aspect of the doctor's assistant and to put it in the system. Um, but, but like one input, um, could you if you share your case with another doctor, is it with usually external, but couldn't you, couldn't you implement in, in the platform directly so there are open cases, other people could like join and help you and maybe even like put on um, like hand, hand hunt on the case if somebody solves it, he gets an incentive or I don't know. On can you can you give the, the an case, example for that? Because to, to get a second opinion on the case and it's it's if it's a really um, difficult one, um, maybe put out uh, that you could like put a, a headhunt on the case that somebody who cracks it gets like a share. I don't know how the system in India works, but maybe it could like... You mean by making public somehow or I don't... Yeah, know. make it public or in a trusted circle in like all pediatricians or all up to metrics. There are thoughts about that uh, in, in the field of homeopaths that to build up a, a community where uh, the cases, the learnings from cases are shared with the, over the app and that everyone who signs up for that gets that knowledge base. Um, but that kind of sharing is at least as of now not, not uh, in the view, but might be a good input. Thanks. Thank you so much, Simon and Praxter. Um, big round of applause, everybody, Thank for you. the final demo of this evening.